Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Faithful Devotions. Today is Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. Today we're going to be reading uh, from the book of Mark, chapter 12, verse 30 and 31st. And it says, And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. Verse 31 says, and the second, like it, it is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this time together, God. We thank you for your giving us the scripture, Lord, to, to bring light into our lives, Lord. We thank you, God, for in this season we're learning about loving one another, Lord. I pray, God, that you will minister into our hearts, God, that you will bring transformation, God. We commit this time to you in Jesus' name. And everyone says, Amen, Amen. So, loving your neighbor as loving yourself. As I was meditating in this passage, the Lord brought to my mind the image of, an, of a flight attendant giving instructions to, to the passengers on what to do in case of emergency. And they say that before you put your oxygen mask, on someone else as you should put it on yourself. Reason behind that is because if you're not getting enough oxygen for yourself, you cannot help others. We cannot love others unless we love ourselves first. I'm, go I'm going to ask you this question. Do you love yourself? Take a couple seconds to think, do I love myself? Now, what was your answer? Was it an absolutely yes, or did you hesitate? How do we know if we love ourselves? And you can tell if you love yourself according to the conversation that you have with yourself. For example, in the morning when you look at yourself in the mirror, you say, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. I am perfect. Or you say, oh, I'm ugly. Oh my goodness, look at this fat. No one can love me like this. What is your self-talk throughout the day? Is it, I always do things right. I am so smart. Or is it, oh, dumb. I can do nothing right. I am a failure. I serve in the kids ministry for years now. And the class that I volunteer at is mostly the toddler's, toddler's class, which is kids ages two to four. And one of the things that uh, is refreshing about uh, working with the little ones is to see how they're able to be sincere, how they're able to trust, to accept each other, how they're capable of loving others because they love themselves first. They're comfortable under their own skin. They don't see color, they don't see a uh, social status, they don't see physical or mental challenges, they don't, they, it doesn't matter the language, it is amazing. The Bible says in Matthew 18 verse 3, unless you are converted and become as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. I feel that by becoming like children, we will all not only enter the kingdom of heaven, but we will also fulfill the golden rule, loving others as we love ourselves. Children naturally do two things. They accept themselves the way they are, and they behave like themselves. To accept ourselves, we need to be aware of our strengths, our weaknesses, our talents, all that was placed in us by the Creator, God the Father. We have to avoid comparing ourselves to others, but instead of comparing ourselves to others, we have to celebrate each other's strengths. We also need to be ourselves, not trying to copy other people. We are originals, we are unique, but a lot of people have been walking through life as a, like a cheap copy on, of another person. Their mannerisms, the tone of voice, the way they dress, always focusing on what they lack instead of focusing on what they have in their lives. Today, I, the, the focus that I want you to, 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 to be your main point of attention is the way you talk to yourself. 
What's your self-talk? What are the lies that the enemy had planted in your heart and in your mind? And I want you to encourage, I want to encourage you to write them down. Is it, I am not good enough? Is it, I'm not smart enough? Is it, I'm not pretty or handsome enough? Is it, I'm not courageous? Today, we're going to start a new conversation with yourself. Getting rid of all self-judgment of and comparison. You're going to believe of what the Creator says about you. You're perfectly and wonderfully made, and that is in Psalm 139, verse 14. You're made according to God's image, that is in Genesis 1, verse 27. He made you with a purpose, and you have all you need in your life, in yourself, to fulfill that purpose. And that is in Jeremiah 29, verses 1 to 14, and also in Ephesians uh, 2. Let me see what verse is it. Verse 10. Also, that His love has been placed in your heart by the Holy Spirit. You are created in love to love, and that is in Romans 5, verse 5. The homework that I want to give you today is this. Take time this, this week, every day, time alone. Look at yourself in the mirror. Look at yourself in the eye and say, I love you. Three times, I love you. I love you. It sounds silly, I know. But a lot of therapists use this technique to help people gain confidence and increase their safe love. Believe it or not, a lot of, for a lot of people, it's easier to say I love you to another person than to themselves. Now, if during that time that you're taking this week, every day, you feel extra brave, you're going to say to yourself, you are good looking, you are smart, you are capable. Learning to love yourself doesn't happen overnight. It's something that you have to practice for the rest of your life. Now, the more you grow in relationship with God, the more you will understand your true identity. Sometimes, for some people, it needs a little more help. It needs a little more work. Because the, 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 the way they see themselves is based on experiences and traumas that they, have, uh, they, that they had in their lives. For that, I encourage you, reach out to your pastor. Reach out, maybe a counselor, a Christian counselor, because sometimes we need to walk, to work our way through um, to achieve that self-love that we need. Let me pray for you. Lord, we thank you, God. We thank you for your love us first, God. We thank you for you created us perfect, God. And I pray for every single one of my brothers and sisters, Lord, that as they hear their message, God, that the lies of the enemy, uh, that the enemy had planted in their hearts and their minds will be revealed, Lord. And we renounce to the, those lies. We declare life. We declare, God, that we are who you say we are, Lord. We thank you for that. Holy Spirit, bring revelation to the hearts of your people, Lord. I pray, God, for that agape love to grow in our hearts, God. We thank you for this, Lord, and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me today, and, uh, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you tomorrow for more faithful devotions. Have a blessed day. Bye.